welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So today's video is mainly from Amazon. I think I've got around about 25 items in total of which 20 are from Amazon and then um, five are from I think Zara and H&M and to be honest that's because I ordered a few linen shirts from Amazon and the quality just wasn't there. One thing I would say straight away is that I ordered a lot of pieces and a lot of them were very different from the image. So I think you do need to be really careful when selecting. It was mainly the colour was different and the sizing was really off. So some of the items are incredibly small despite me following the sizing chart. So I'd say be careful, but if you're prepared to return, of which the returns are super, super easy, then you can get yourself some really good bargains. And as I'm about to show you, I've pretty much bought a capsule wardrobe. So just briefly, I'm going to talk you through my strategy of buying a capsule wardrobe. And it's not a full capsule wardrobe. I haven't got a blazer in here, for example, although I probably will use one from H&M. And that's actually because I couldn't find one that was good enough quality on Amazon. So I think there's still some things that you need to go a little bit more high end. And I'm not even talking high end. I'm talking sort of H&M or Zara type of high end. You don't have to go as far as Reese and people like that. But the main thing I focused on, first of all, was getting my basics in place. So... In terms of white tops, remember this is the glue that brings all of these other items together. If I just had the navy trousers like that and tried to put the brown jumper with it, then that's going to be, look very, very dull. As soon as you sandwich the white in there like that, then you can wear any three of those colours. So the white should be kind of like the biggest part of your wardrobe really. So for me, I've ordered just a plain t-shirt, but with some puffy sleeves. And then I've ordered a long sleeve t-shirt to go under top so you can still see the white sticking out. But then I've also ordered a vest top, just when you want the white showing at the bottom and you don't want the sleeve showing. And then I ordered a couple of white blouses. So you've got the one that I've got on right now that is really sweet. And then this one here. I probably really don't need two white blouses in the wardrobe in all honesty but I just wanted to show you some options so I'll put that one on for you in a minute and then I went down the shirt route so this is where Amazon didn't work to be honest with you I ordered two different linen shirts one was absolutely tiny and the other one was really really scratchy so instead I'm using a couple of different ones here from H&M, one's stripy and one's plain and I'll show you how I style those up in a minute. And then I found more of a nicer sort of work going out blouse so that looks really nice. And then you're into your basics, you've got your classic stripe, I've got a tracksuit in there. I did order some navy plain trousers, I always like to have a tracksuit in perhaps a neutral colour, it doesn't have to be navy. But then I also like my smarter trousers in a similar colourway, so that I can swap up from daytime to evening or daytime to work and still have the same item on in the same colour in a different fabric weight which makes it appropriate for my lifestyle so collecting my kids in the joggers going to a meeting in the nicer blue trousers we've got some beige trousers there I've inserted those in from Zara I did find some actually on Amazon but unfortunately they haven't arrived on time but I will still link the Amazon option but I haven't been able to try it on and then we've got some accent colours down here for you. Now, you will recognise those accent colours if you have been following my videos. I did one with Hannah, our makeup artist, and a lot of you really, really loved those colourways. So I've reproduced the whole range based on those colourways, but using Amazon pieces, because that capsule wardrobe was gorgeous but it included some higher price pieces from Reese and places like that so I know that limited some of your choices so we picked them up from Amazon I'm not sure on the sizing they actually look really small but we'll give it a go I haven't actually tried any of this stuff on this is the first outfit I tried on oh and something that I've got here 
Many of you might have seen these, they're advertised everywhere on social media. This is the underwear, the magic underwear that is meant to shrink your waist down by like two or three sizes. It looks tiny, not looking forward to trying it on, but I'm gonna give it a go for you because these make great base layers. So if it works, fantastic. And then down here, we've got some shoes for you. So I picked up two different pairs of sandals. The ones that I have got on right now, which are more like gladiator sandals that are really, really comfy. A lot of the gladiator sandals like this, or like this, have hard leather bottoms, but these are really, really comfy. They're really squidgy. So I'm really impressed with their sandals actually. And then the other shoes actually, we've got a pair from H&M and a pair from um, Boda. We've got the lovely little bag here. That's also from Amazon. Okay, so the first outfit, everything is from Amazon. So starting with the shoes, you've got the really nice gladiator sandals. Then I've got some Levi's original 501s. They are the cropped version. I will link everything for you. You go to the description box for the link. And then there are two links there, one for the American market and one for the UK market. But if you're in neither America or UK, just click on whichever is your closest in location and then just change the location to your country code once you've got into the link. And then we've got this really gorgeous little blouse. This has got such lovely texture on it. Now I find that this type of blouse is really, really good on most body shapes. I think the only body shape that this doesn't work on is strawberries. But I would say to you, there's not many strawberry shapes out there. Most people who think they are broad on top are broad because of their chest or maybe their back, but there are very few that are broad right here on the shoulder bone. So if you've got a bigger bust, this would be really good. The shoulder detail here will broaden you and it'll make your chest look smaller. The v-neck here comes to the perfect length so it's not showing too much cleavage but it's not finishing there. Can you see straight away if I was to hold that like that it a will pull across your chest but also it's just not as feminine as showing a little bit more flesh down there. The sleeves are great they're not too tight they're puffing out so my arms would look smaller if they were just sort of tight like that for example my arm would look a lot chunkier so those extra ruffles there are really good if you've got bigger arms. They also come down quite far. So I know a lot of my ladies struggle with bingo wings, but there's lots of room under that blouse there. I love the texture on it as well. Oh, in terms of the necklaces, they are actually from Monica Vinada. I've just had a whole load of new items gifted to me. So what I tend to do is wear them for a few days, see which combinations I like best, and then I kind of show them to you. So this is a bit of a preview on them. I'm loving these two together. That chunky necklace as well does really well by itself. And I've also got that, this new ring there, which I really like. And I'm really enjoying adding some white, some sort of pearls to my bracelets. And I've also got a necklace with it as well. So I think that just lifts your jewellery and creates more of a summer lighter vibe. So final outfit is this. So just worn with the jeans. Could grab a bag. This one is also from Amazon. It's got a great drawstring inside there and it's just a copy of a very famous designer bag but it is a fraction of the price. I like how that drawstring does up so you can actually protect your items in there and that finishes that look off really nicely especially because you've got the straw bag and then you've got the sliders or uh, gladiator sandals, whatever you call them in your country. So they complement each other really nicely. But what I could also do is the following. So all I've done is, first of all, I have changed up the shoes. So just for a very small little mule. So that's barely sort of an inch and a little bit. So very stable when I'm walking. 
they are from H&M, I've got the same jeans on and then I've just picked up my bag from Zara, this is a really sweet bag actually, let me show you this, I think it was about £36, but I'm really liking the two-tone strap, but look at that, MM. So when you buy this online at Zara, not in the shops, but online, you get the choice to add in anything here, really. You could put whatever you wanted. So I had my initials put on MM, and it was only an extra two pounds. I thought that was really nice. It does come with a long brown strap as well. So because I've elevated my shoes, I've also elevated the bag as well. You might have noticed as well that I also changed my blouse. So just to show you an alternative, this one is really nice again from Amazon feels really nice it's clinging a little bit so you might want to be careful about the static on it but there are various things you can do to get rid of static but in terms of the shape and actually the drape it's really really nice slightly longer on the sleeves I'm liking this detail all down here I'm loving the shoulders there I feel like it gives a really strong shape helps to balance out the hips and just looks really nice like that so that's kind of like a nice way to do an elevated jeans and nice top type of look. Bringing it back to basics I think I produced a very very similar look on Hannah's wardrobe which is the aim of this video by the way to try and see if I could do that wardrobe from Amazon and that goes really really nicely I think. Navy joggers these feel really really plush and so does I've got on underneath here just a white vest top. The neckline on the white vest top is really nice. It feels really nice. It's a nice sort of shade of white as well. And then this jumper, the neckline's quite high on this jumper, which is why I have taken my hair down. When I had my hair like that, the orange felt too close, or the terracotta felt too close to my skin tone. And I felt like I needed to break that area up. So in putting my hair down, I've now got some colour differentiation between my skin tone, my hair and my jumper. So always play around if you think a colour doesn't quite suit you or it's too close or too high up your neck, have a play around with your hair if you can. Now these joggers also come with a matching top which is here, it's from a brand called Rioria, I don't know, but that top looked quite small in comparison to the bottoms. I think they're both a size small, but I'm gonna try that on now for you and double check the sizing. Now just before I do put the matching blue top on to go with the joggers, I put this stripe top on because I wanted the stripe edge showing. And this is so nice. It feels really, really lovely quality. It's got really nice neckline detail there, really nice for broadening. I think the brand is Esprit. In fact, a lot of the stuff I bought was from either Esprit or Vera Moda on Amazon, and those two brands are coming out as the best quality. So yeah, I'm really impressed with that one really nice I think you can't go wrong with a striped top in your wardrobe anyway it would go with the jeans it would go with white trousers it would go with absolutely everything try and go for navy and white rather than black and white it's a lot easier for people to wear black can be very very draining so I'll try this top on now see if this goes over I tell you what I'm quite impressed with these items from Amazon I didn't think I was going to say that but this is the matching jogging set so I've just got that stripe top underneath just to separate it because can you see if I just put it on like that it's all very dark especially if I pulled those sleeves down let me show you that actually there you go it's all very dark so all we're doing is splitting it up a little bit a plain white top would be fine, the navy striped top goes fine. What doesn't go fine is if you put like a slightly grey dishwater white top on, you know, that just looks a bit dirty, then that doesn't look as fresh. You're going for a fresh pop of colour. My trainers, by the way, are just my Erin Grace trainers. Again, I did order some white leather trainers from um, Amazon. Actually, they might have been canvas. 
can't remember but they haven't come they're in the package with the navy trousers i'm just making do with my own trainers today but i will link some amazon equivalents on the trainers to give you some options but that is really nice i feel really cozy in it it was very inexpensive it feels really quite nice quality and yeah I would definitely recommend and the best thing about Amazon when you do buy things like this is that they come in like 10 different colorways but just try and keep it to a neutral a gray a blue maybe a white for the summer because then you can layer up the jogging set and it still looks quite classy as soon as you start going off on some random colors then it's not going to go with the rest of the wardrobe and it's just not going to stand the test of time as well as a neutral palette will for you and just before I take the jogging pants off, just to show you that I always include some sort of white jumper. I personally like a hoodie. It doesn't need to be a hoodie. It could just be a white or a neutral colour sweatshirt. But you can see how you could put that on instead of the dark navy and you've got a different outfit there. But the white jumper is also going to go with the jeans. It's going to go with the navy trousers as well. So it's really useful. Now this particular one is from H&M, they do have loads on Amazon but I couldn't get my size in white to arrive in time before this video but if you're not so time restricted then they do loads on Amazon so I will link this one from H&M but I'll also link some from Amazon as well for you. So next we've got this summer little dress, really lightweight cotton actually feels really nice it feels quite thin but it still feels quite sort of satiny soft cotton is it quite my style no I don't think so especially because I have sock marks right now on my legs and the reason I mention that is because try and be mindful that if you are wearing a dress then you probably do need to take your socks off quite a few hours before you put that dress on because something like those indents on your legs really don't look that great and it kind of can be something as simple as that that just ruins the whole styling. So I've got this on with two different shoes, I've got a trainer there which is probably honestly more like the way I would wear a dress like this but the reason I don't particularly like this one for myself is the length. So it's cutting me at my widest part, which is right on my calves. And I've got quite chunky calves, I'm a cyclist. So for me, I would prefer it to be a little bit longer and probably with some buttons up the front there. Now, I think I did see some like that on Amazon. So I will link those if I do see it. But if you are either shorter than me, I'm five foot three, so it becomes longer or you're taller and you want it more around your knee length, then this would be a lovely, really simple summer dress. On this side, as you can see, I've just got it with a white mule, so that would just help to elongate the legs a little bit. But yeah, for me personally, I would either go longer or shorter. So just be mindful again about the length at which it comes to on you. But in terms of how it feels, how it flows, it's got the tie on here so you can pull it in there as much as you want to. And it goes with the rest of my wardrobe. So I could put a little white blazer over this would look really nice. The cream on the bag goes really nicely with it. So if you are buying a one piece outfit, just make sure that it fits in with whatever color shoes you've got or whatever color handbag you've got. And then you don't need to worry about going and buying additional pieces. So next we've got this Amazon blouse, which I think is an absolute bargain. It's a classic style of kind of work blouse, but you could put it with jeans as well. I'll insert a picture of that. And I've got it on here with some navy trousers. Now these are my own trousers and they are from Reese but these trousers are worth every penny. I will show you in a minute how I dress them down as well as up all the time. They're elasticated waist. I couldn't find anything, to be honest with you, on Amazon that satisfied both my need to take them up 
and down. I could find plenty of perhaps navy chinos or navy work trousers, but not one pair that would do both things. And these, whilst they are, are more expensive, they definitely do both things and they're super comfy as well. They feel really nice. I've just popped them on with some old Zara shoes at the moment, but I could have put the white mules on with them as well. I just wanted something to coordinate in with my belt and my bag. The belt is actually just taken off a pair of Zara trousers, which I was going to use later on, but any brown belt will do. In terms of the actual blouse, so it's got these ruffle details here. It's got a little bit of volume going on on the sleeves. So I haven't done that up, but you could do that up. And when you do it up, you could wear a nice jumper and just show that collar there. So really nice. It's actually got long sleeves, but I have just pushed those up like that. And then I'd probably use my little elastic bands just to keep those in place there. But I think that is a really, really great work or just a nice elevated blouse for most people actually. I thought it was going to be silk from the pictures but it's actually just a blue cotton and it feels really nice, it ironed really nicely as well. Oh that's another thing to mention, everything comes really creased and when I first got everything out I was like oh my goodness I'm not going to be able to make anything from that. But then I spent the time ironing everything and it looked completely different. So make sure you go to those sort of extra lengths to make the Amazon type of item work for you. We've been joined by Monty. I'm not quite sure if you can see him, but he's right at my feet here. So if I go flying, you know what I tripped over. So sorry about that. Do you want to come and say hello, Vicky Vines? Yeah, come here then. Come say hello to them. They can't see you down there. There he is, One, wanting a bum rub. There we go, okay? So what I do want to show you is that I have got those navy trousers on, but I've just put them on in a more casual way with the other pieces from Amazon. So if you, I think my head is now cut off, <laughs> but you, at least you can see the trousers and you can see the shoes there. And then I've put them on with the little basket bag and just this cropped brown jumper that again is from Amazon. I usually get my white base layers from H&M, but actually I think going forward, Amazon is the way forward. I got two white vest tops, I think for like $8.99, something on those lines. And I think this one here was $12.99. And yes, they're really nice quality. I'd say they come up slightly small. What I am going to do is try and put my sizing on the moon sift board for you where all the links are so if you look in the comments it should be able to tell you what size i was wearing in everything yeah i think that just makes for a really nice casual sort of springy summer day there's no reason why you couldn't put a pair of white trainers with this you could even put the white mules on if you wanted to elevate that look up slightly let me try that now for you there you go so that's it with a slightly smarter shoe okay so just change that outfit up again Again, again copying what I did with Hannah's wardrobe but this shirt is available on Amazon but it wasn't available in my size ready for today's video so all it is is a blue linen shirt so the one I'm wearing right now is from H&M but I'll link the Amazon one for you and then I've got the white vest top on here these come two in a packet again really really soft and then I've just teamed it with my bag just to finish off and some white trainers but a really easy look. Now a one way that you can change this look up if you're not comfortable showing this part of your stomach is just to get the shirt right on the very end usually and just knot that and then this will help to elongate anybody's waist and hide a stomach. So you tend to bring the white top out like that. Can you see now how it's elongated my waist? And then you can do a few of the buttons up here so you're not gaping anywhere. There we go. And that should help anybody who's conscious around the stomach area. Now the key to this is making sure that the shirt is big enough that you can knot it right at the very end. 
what I see a lot of people trying to do is knot it when it's really tight like that and then it just doesn't look right it doesn't kind of look as casual and as relaxed as it does right now so if you know you're going to knot go up a size in your linen shirt I've also got this really nice striped one that is a new one from H&M it was 19.99 and I'd wear that in exactly the same way as well. Okay, so I have just tried this body on from Amazon, the one that I keep seeing everywhere. It's basically the dupe of the Kim Kardashian skins range. And I can confirm that it does what it said it's meant to do. So it sort of really pulls you in everywhere. Uh, I know obviously the young girls would just wear it like that. I certainly wouldn't feel overly comfortable with that. We're getting my arms out and everything. But in terms of slimming down the waist here, I wouldn't say it makes you go in as much as the adverts say it does, but it does definitely give this sort of more slimming effect here. Usually in a pair of jeans like that, I would get a little bit of a muffin top come over, but it isn't doing that. So yes, it, it works a little bit. Is it the comfiest? I've obviously got my own underwear on underneath it for hygiene purposes. So maybe once my own pants are taken off, then it would be more comfortable. But right now it's riding up the bottom a little bit. But I think if you're looking for a slimming garment to perhaps put over a shirt, maybe something like that, then yes, it definitely works and yeah i do feel a lot more slim down in it i do feel kind of quite exposed as well though like it's almost um showing a little bit too much of my shape for my liking but yeah i think i could perhaps get used to it. it's a little bit booby for me as well but it definitely slims down the waist area and there's no reason why you couldn't wear that underneath something just to give you that shape and to smooth out these lines here at the side so just before i change out of this outfit i just wanted to show you the two pairs of sandals that i have got from amazon i'm going to be keeping both of them because i think they are really nice really really comfortable and I'm actually very impressed with them this is really nice and soft and padded so they feel really comfortable on they've got the buckle at the back there meaning that you can change the back and put it as tight or as loose as you need it to be and I think this shape here with the cross like that elongates your legs even further so i really like that one and they come in all different colors as well darker brown um black i think white and then the other one that i have been wearing is this one so this is more the gladiator style where this wraps around your ankle so i had these last year from marks and spencers and wore them constantly again they are really soft and padded that's them close up for you and what i often find with a gladiator sandal is that when this is wrapped around your ankle then those ties slowly come undone as you start to walk. So I haven't had that experience today. They do have the little gold on the end there that tends to stop it from unraveling as you're wearing it. It's got a slight heel on there as well. So it doesn't feel as flat as some of these sandals could feel. So yeah, I'm going to keep both of those. I had them both in my normal size, which is a size four, and they both fitted perfectly. So as always, I will link everything for you. So another thing to show you is this Amazon t-shirt. Really, really nice. So I've got it on with these chinos. These are from Zara. 
They come with the belt, so that's the belt that I have been using in other shots, but I will find you just a plain brown belt. And I just wanted to show you how on the one side, I've elevated those trousers up slightly by just putting the mule with them. But then on the other side, I've just got a trainer, that could have been a slider, it could have been any of the sandals that we've got here today. And then I've paired it on the dress down sides with more of a basket bag again from Amazon. So you can kind of elevate or make it more casual. Now the one thing I would say about these trousers, you might have seen them in the Come Shopping with me, I am now wearing a UK 6 in them. I am never a 6. My backside alone is a UK 10, but my waist is probably a 6 to be fair, but definitely my bottom is more like an 8 to a 10. So these barrel type trousers are coming up really generous on the thighs. So they're actually very good for pear shaped ladies who have got a smaller waist here but need the extra room in the thigh area. So I did find some chino style on Amazon. They're just the ones that didn't arrive on time. So I will put these Zara ones down but I'll also try and find those Amazon ones and link those as well for you. And just to show you how the brown jumper also from Amazon that I think we were wearing with jeans or maybe the navy trousers goes equally nice with some beige sort of chinos like that. So again I've kept the trainer on the one side but a little mule on the other. The key here, because you've got two browns going on, is to have some white showing. Without that you would look a little bit sort of all brown. Can you see that? So even the strap from my bag will break up that colour. Then when I pull the sleeves up as well and put the bit of white on, that will also break up the outfit. So do think about the accessories and think about how you're layering something underneath. If, for example, you're in a hotter climate, then maybe you won't have the jumper on anyway, but if you didn't want to layer up with a long sleeve top, then you could add some white in with your jewellery. So in my case, I've got the Monica Vinada there. So that will help break up the browns. But that's a really nice look as well. Oh, I've just realised there's a little secret pocket in these trousers, which I didn't know about. So there we go. So the last thing to show you is this striped jumper. It's almost like a dupe of the Zara one that they do every single year. It's quite, I'd say, creamy, sort of, not quite yellowy, but creamy definitely rather than white. So cream and navy as opposed to white and navy. So a lot warmer than perhaps the white and the blue. It's a really, really thin knit. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. And given that these were ordered on Prime, which is a next day delivery, oh, Monty's off, or they were ordered on the try before you buy scheme, which is you get seven days to try it, then that's really good as well. By the way, this is not an advert for Amazon. <laughs> I should just say that. I just thought I would try it for you because I know a number of you have budget restrictions at the moment. So I just wanted to show you that even with some budget restrictions, you could still get together some really nice pieces. So just before I sign off, if any of you are looking to have a capsule wardrobe like this and would like our help, then we do online international consultations for people all over the world. I've got a whole team that is working behind the scenes doing that, or you could book myself as well. We also do face-to-face, -face, but that is more locally around the Wiltshire area. We have got some stylists up in the Manchester area as well, so if anybody's interested in that. We've got our two courses coming out soon, and as always, if you could press that subscribe button, I would be really grateful. The more subscribers we get, the more content I can bring you, because the more time I can personally spend on delivering the YouTube videos. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you again next week.